CapCut is a really useful and pretty popular video editor for the iPhone, and blurring your videos in CapCut is really easy as well. I already showed you how you can blur your photos on the iPhone. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how you can blur videos on the iPhone. So let's get started with this video right now. Well, firstly, if you have the iPhone 13 Pro or the 14 Pro, then you even have the cinematic mode in your camera. That means that the videos you shoot on your iPhone happen to have a nice blurry background naturally and in real time without any post-production needed. In order to enable this mode, you need to open up the camera app and just make sure to swipe through all the sections and just try to find the cinematic section. Anyways, it's not the main point of this video. What is, however, is that you can actually blur out any of your already existing videos on the iPhone, and it doesn't matter which model you have. At first, you need to make sure you have the CapCut app downloaded and installed, then just open it up and start a new project, import all the clips you'll need to edit, and we can begin with the blurring process. So now, when you have your clip on the timeline, the first option is to add effects. Usually whenever we're editing some sort of footage using CapCut, we at first select the clip and the scroll through the effects and adjustments. Because different toggles and different buttons show up depending on whether you have the clip selected or not. But in this specific example, we don't do it. Instead, we want to make sure the video is not selected, and then use the scroller to find the effects button. It's looking like a star, so go ahead and tap on it. After you select it, you then tap on the button saying Video Effects. And this will show you many different effects that you can pick from. Literally, there are so many different ones that you can get for your video. By default, you are in the trending view, but I want you to scroll a little and go to the lens section. This is where all the blurry effects are. Of course, those effects that have the word Pro next to them are not usable in the free version. You cannot actually implement them unless you are a paid subscriber. Fortunately, the blur effects are mostly free to use. And now just select and play around with the blurring options. There are a few to pick from. You can go with the basic blur option or choose the chroma blur, or there's even one called motion blur. After you tap on one of the effects, you can hit the OK button or adjust the blur even more. So you'll get this slider and you'll be able to slide through it and add more or less of the blur effect to the clip. As I said, play around with it to find the desired results. You can see that it doesn't apply to one clip only, but it's like a new layer that shows up on the timeline. You can then drag it out as much as you want and you can apply to the entire video clip or just to a certain part of it, it is up to you. But there is also a different way to get the blur working inside the cap cut. Well, if you select the clip, unlike with the first method, you'll get these buttons and toggles. And I want you to then scroll all the way to the right side, where you'll see the motion blur button. This is technically a blur feature as well, but the difference is that this is more of an enhancement, not really an effect you want to apply. It's not going to be as noticeable, and it's more of a little detail that you can add a nice touch to the video. So this is how you can do it inside CapCut. But keep in mind that CapCut is definitely not the only application that supports effects like these. Besides this, there are also some different ones on the App Store. If you want to, you can literally just go ahead and search for the phrase go blur video and you'll be presented with many different apps you can download. Some of them only serve one purpose and that is to blur your video. So if you want to, try them out, but chances are that these apps will charge you some money and the free version will be severely limited. So I would say that CapCut is a safe bet. Now that would be pretty much everything what I wanted to say in this video. If you found it helpful and enjoyable, make sure to leave a like on this video. For more content like this, I would recommend you to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel and you'll then never miss future videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.